As someone who has done literally thousands of Tonex tone models, one thing I am asked about quite regularly from users who are looking to get into creating their own Tonex tone models is how long it takes for the Tonex training of the tone model to complete. Now this is something that IK has been very open about right from the beginning that Tonex is optimized to be used with computers equipped with NVIDIA GPUs. And if you go to the specs on their site, they have a little table laid out there showing the rough estimate of times that we could expect on training done with CPU only on both Windows and Mac OS, specifying that they were dealing with M1, M1 Pro, and M1 Ultra chips, and also the difference between using a Windows system with an NVIDIA GPU. And the times are quite remarkably different. Speaking from my own experience, when I first started using Tonex, I had a Windows-based system with an Intel i9-10900K processor with 32 gigs of RAM, but it contained an AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT GPU. With that system for advanced training on a Tonex tone model, it was taking me over nine hours and over 90 minutes to train a default tone model. Now to compare, taking that same system, knowing I was going to be making many Tonex tone models, I upgraded that same system to have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 GPU. My training times fell almost shockingly to default trainings taking 3 minutes and 30 seconds and advanced training taking only between 16 and 17 minutes. So as IK states very openly, we can see that having an NVIDIA GPU accessible to use for the training is going to speed up the training dramatically. The problem is not everybody who has a desire to create Tonex tone models has a system that is based around an NVIDIA GPU, nor may it be worth their while to spend the money that's required to create a system that's going to give them those fast training times. So along those lines, many people have asked me how quick the training happens on Mac systems. Now, as I showed already, IK has shown us a timetable with rough estimates, but I had the unique opportunity to actually put this to the test. I recently was upgrading my Mac systems, and I figured before I upgraded them, I would do some training of Tonex Tone Models on all the systems so I could compare how long it takes on each of them. So the systems that I had at my disposal from what we would consider the least powerful to the most powerful, I had a Mac Mini M2 Pro that had a 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. I also had a MacBook Pro with an M3 Pro processor with an 11 core M3 Pro CPU, 14 core GPU and 18 gigabytes of RAM. I recently upgraded both the Mac Mini and the MacBook Pro to the new M4 Pro based system. So another system that I used for this test was one of the new Mac Minis with an M4 Pro 12 core CPU, 16 core GPU and 24 gigabytes of RAM. And the final system was a MacBook Pro M4 Pro 14 core CPU, 20 core GPU, and 24 gigabytes of RAM. The results may be quite surprising here. So obviously we were not gonna go into this expecting that the Mac systems were going to compete with a Windows PC with an NVIDIA based GPU, but I was very curious so that I could answer folks' questions about my findings on this. So here were the results. As I've already mentioned, my Windows PC with an Intel i9-10900K processor, 32 gigs of RAM, and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 on Tonex's default training takes in and around three and a half minutes. How does this compare to the Mac systems? So starting off with the Mac Mini with the M2 Pro chip, 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU, and 16 gigabytes of RAM, I was able to train a default Tonex tone model in 14 minutes and 49 seconds. Keep in mind that before I did any of these trainings, I shut down as many apps as was possible to avoid any potential slowdowns that could be caused by the CPU being under strain elsewhere. So I actually felt that that was a fairly respectable time. I then moved over to my MacBook Pro with the M3 Pro chip in it, an 11 core CPU, 14 core GPU, and 18 gigs of RAM. And as would be expected, the default training time for a Tonex Tone model fell down to 11 minutes and 50 seconds. 
not bad for somebody who wants to just do default training. So logically, I figured that with M4 Pro based systems that we should get another improvement in default training times for Tonex tone models. Since the new M4 Pro chips seem to beat both the M2 Pro and M3 Pro chips in pretty much all benchmarks. So my first test was with the new MacBook Pro with the M4 Pro 14 core CPU, 20 core GPU and 24 gigabytes of RAM. And to my surprise, the default Tonex training time rose to 19 minutes and 17 seconds. I actually repeated this a number of times and got almost the exact same results every time. I then moved over to my new Mac Mini M4 Pro based system, which was an M4 Pro 12 core CPU, 16 core GPU and 24 gigabytes of RAM. And the default training time on that system was 16 minutes and 11 seconds. So both of the newer M4 Pro based Mac systems did substantially worse than both the M2 Pro and the M3 Pro systems, which was quite surprising. Now, this is not my area of expertise by any means, so I'm not going to pretend to know the reasons why this is happening, but I did find it to be fairly useful information that might help answer some of the questions that I receive on a regular basis. So I hope you enjoyed that quick look at this comparison between partially what we would expect, knowing that the NVIDIA GPU-based systems are going to be shockingly faster than any system that is going to work simply off of the CPU, but I thought it would be kind of interesting to show those benchmarks benchmarks on some of the various newer Mac CPUs. So I hope that that was enjoyable and I hope it was helpful to some. Please like the video and share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching and also please subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification and notify when I put new content. I'll be back really soon with some more. I'm going to leave you today with the demo video for one of my recently released Tonex Tone Model collections. It's available at the link below. This is the Vicious Kitty Ultimate and DI collection which is based off my absolutely stunning hand-wired Bad Cat Cub 5 amplifier. If you enjoy what you hear, the links are below. If you want to help support my channel, you can grab a copy of that collection. I hope you enjoy the tones. Thanks again for sharing your time with me. Ciao for now.